away to the place. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Okay, my name is Victory Jessime Amiefe in short form VJ. Okay, so this video, I am going to be doing something interesting with my friends, and they are all here. And here with me is Victory Travis. Her name is also Victory. Hi. Who was it? Who was it? Hi, my name is Victory. Victory Otaiwi. Yeah, it's different from the video. <laughs> Mary. Mary. Mary who? Mary Arua. Okay. In this video, I am going to we are going to be going to a store in Nigeria to buy Chinese store. Chinese store in Nigeria <laughs> to buy um something they call fang bm here it's in the cup i don't know if they're going to have it but i really want to like have a taste of it <clears throat> so we're going to be going there to look for this fang bm here is noodles is this a uh, very convenient noodles that you can do so we're going to go there we're going to try to purchase some stuff with chinese currency so i have some i've been saving this thing for a while I'm getting gifts from people i met over time so they gave me this um, chinese currency so i have um the first i have this is shikwai is this shikwai or shi renminbi i think this is shikwai shikwai is like 10 10 kwai <laughs> and i think this is equivalent to a thousand era a thousand era i have another shikwai it's also equivalent to a thousand era and then I have four feet, which is about four thousand naira. Nine, when you convert it to Nigerian currency, it's about four thousand naira. And then this is Wukwai. That's Wu Yuan. This is it. And this is equivalent to like five hundred or um, approximately. But I'm not going to use this five renminbi simply because this. When I was given this gift, the person that gave me this gift asked me not to use it to keep it because it significant. It signifies riches i want to keep it till how long i don't know till forever <laughs> let's just see how it goes so guys let's go with us you want to see let's go, let's go! <laughs> new word for today in chinese it's ni hao in spanish it is hola and in german it is hello so we are on our way to the place <laughs> Okay, I think at this point I will have to switch to voiceover. So we eventually got to the store. We saw a lady, not really a lady, but a woman. So we had to like take permission from her to film, to film because in some places you're not allowed to film. So we had to ask her, and she permitted us. Then we had to be sure they were going to be, you know, accepting women. Be they were going to be accepting foreign currency, so we don't get stranded because we no carry money, we no carry better money. So this is us. That your biscuit, you don't know how much it is biscuit is. I don't know if they have it too. Let's we we'll have to search for it. Okay, so at this point we began shopping. This was the hardest part, trying to decide what to take because we had limited amount of money. We saw these noodles, these um Chinese noodles, yes, thank you, mian. We saw it, but the price was really outrageous. I heard in China it's about um when you convert from MMP to Naira, it's about three hundred and fifty naira. But here in Nigeria it's been sold for one thousand five hundred naira, which is really outrageous. So we began to pick between the flavors, trying to decide which flavor to go for. But they were all beef, but I think they had like different amounts of spice in them so eventually we decided to check for other things that um spare money could afford 
we saw chips, we saw milk, we saw biscuits, we saw Pringles, we saw so many things, but then we we're just limited. Did you can see Pringles or what? Is Pringles or what? So eventually, we saw these biscuits, about two of it, we couldn't decide which to go for, so we decided to do Tinini Tanana for the both of them. Oh, yeah. No. So we eventually choose one because we couldn't afford the both of them. So eventually we went for the purple, and um, yeah, that's it. We went for the purple, and then at the end of the day, we decided to go to, you know, the woman so she could calculate her stuff and see if our money was enough for everything. Please count the money. Let's see. Count, count, please, ma'am. Five thousand naira. Okay, Rabbi, I'm paying with basic currency. Yes. Wonderful. I thought you were telling me about transferring. No, not transferring. They gave us. They said we can use it here. She basically wasn't sure if they were going to be accepting the foreign currency. She actually thought we were going to be transferring the money. So she was very doubtful of it. She was doubting if she was going to be queried or not. So she decided that she was going to, was going to take a picture of me and get my contact just in case her boss doesn't allow her to, you know, take the Remy B cash. Then she would return it back to me and get perhaps Naira cash. This was me checking out the picture. I wanted to be sure they were fine, you know, as a fine girl like me. <laughs> that was the end okay, of the show shopping. It, show it and do Shakara with you. Oh, here's us going back. <laughs> We succeeded, we're happy, and this was mission accomplished for us, so we're very excited. That was the end of everything. Okay, so it was time for us to prepare the noodles, so we had to boil the water. This is also using the boiler, and then, you know, we're trying to figure out how to, you know, go about this, because this is not our normal Nigerian noodles. So that's it, we had to, like, boil the water, eventually put the water inside the noodles. We covered it for a while, and it was ready to... Okay. Now this is us tasting the noodles. Omo, um, it was so weird. It's not like our normal Nigerian noodles, but it's not really that bad. Anyway, so just give it a seven. I think a seven would be best for for it. That's our review. Thanks guys for watching this video. Please do well to subscribe, like, share, and you know, share to your friends and and leave a comment in the comment section.